Good evening, wonderful seventh graders. Welcome back. Today I want to teach you about the difference between uniform sample spaces and non-uniform sample spaces. So please do me a favor, open up your math notebook, make this the title on the next free page right up at the top. When you have done that, mark your page, close it up, clear your space, clear your mind, and give me your full concentration till we get to the we do. So I want to teach you the difference between a, a uniform sample space and a non-uniform sample space today. But first, I need to remind you about some vocabulary like sample space uh, to begin with to make sure we remember what that means. So looking at a spinner, say, like this one, um, an outcome is sort of like a, what happens if I were to spin this spinner. So I spun this spinner one time, the outcome would be what happens. Say I spun it and it landed here then I would say the outcome was that I spun a four. That's a thing that could happen. The sample space is all possible outcomes. We kind of talk about those together, um, if you didn't remember that. So a sample space is all possible outcomes. In this case, I can spin a one, a two, a three, or a four. Or we could look at it in terms of color as well. You know, I also could say my possibilities are yellow, red, blue, and green. Um, that's a sample space. It's like all the possible outcomes you could get. So that's going to be important today because we're talking about types of sample spaces. So let's get right to it. So rather than just talking about sample spaces, from now on I want to be able to talk about a uniform or a non-uniform sample space. Before I show you some, I thought it'd be best to just tell you what they are. So a uniform, in a uniform sample space, all outcomes, I don't know if I spelled that right, outcomes are equally likely. So all the possible outcomes in a uniform sample space are equally likely. You have the same chance or same probability of getting every outcome. In a non-uniform sample space, um, different outcomes, outcomes have different probabilities. They're not the same. They're not uniform. Uniform means same. And that's what they call it. You know, if you have to wear a uniform to your job, everyone wears the same thing. So uniform in this context means same. So in a uniform sample space, all outcomes are equally likely. Same chance. In a non-uniform space, all outcomes have different probabilities. Um, different chance. They're not uniform. Okay, that's easier to understand when we look at a couple. So let's go here. So remember, I'm going to write these again. In a uniform sample space, all the outcomes have the same probability. In a non-uniform sample space, different outcomes have different probabilities. I'm just going to abbreviate a lot there. So let's look at some and sort them if you will. So I've got these four spinners, and let's just sort them by which type of sample space they have, uniform or non-uniform. So when I look at the first one, uh, there are 12 possibilities, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 spots on that spinner. And I want to see, do they have the same probability or not? So when I look at that one, I see like there's two ones, and there's two twos, and there's two threes, two fours, two fives, and two sixes. So every single number that I could possibly spin has a two in six, uh, sorry, a two in 12 chance of spinning it. They all are equally represented. So that we would say is a uniform sample space. Let's look at spinner B. Same 12 sections, no difference there. Uh, are they all the same probabilities? So let's see. So I see one, one. I see two twos. I also see like three sixes. And so my probability of getting a one or a two or a six are not even. You know, the probability of a one is one out of 12. The probability of a two is two out of 12. The probability of a three. 3 out of 12. They're not equal. They're not uniform. So we would say this is a non-uniform sample space. Different things have a different possibility. 
spinner C, there are also still 12 possible outcomes and 12 different numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So all of my different possibilities all have a 1 in 12 chance. They are the same. So we would say that that spinner has a uniform sample space. Last one, pretty easy to tell. Um, I don't know all my probabilities because they're not even, but I can probably estimate. You know, it looks like the probability of a 1 is like half the spinner in this case, right? So I probably have a 1 in 2 chance of getting a 1. If I did some maneuvering, I feel like the 3 is as big as the 2 and 4 kind of put together. So I'm going to guess that my probability of a 3, I think that looks like about a fourth. And I would guess, though I don't know for sure, the probability of a 2 or a 4 is like a 1 eighth. And they're not equal. I don't need to know what they are. These are estimates. But the main thing to know, they're not the same. I don't have the same likelihood of getting a 1, a 2, or a 3, or a 4. So that would be a non-uniform sample space. All right. Open your notebook. Let's do one together. So go ahead and pause here. Write this down. Do your best to draw these uh, three bags that we're going to randomly pick from. Uh, if you don't have colors handy, you can just write kind of like yellow, blue, green, white, red on them, something like that. So unpause when you're ready. Remember, I know we do. You can work ahead of me. You can work along with me. Or you can just wait, watch me, and work behind me. So I want to decide if each of these, if we're going to reach into this bag and pull a card out at random, do I have a uniform sample space or a non-uniform sample space? So let's look at the first one. So in the first one, there are five different cards and there are five different colors. So if I were to reach in that bag at random and pull one out, my probability of a yellow would be one favorable outcome out of five total outcomes. My probability of a blue is one blue out of five total outcomes. Probability of green, there's one out of five possible outcomes, and so on. So all of my choices here all have the same probability. I have a one in five chance of pulling each card equally. We call that a uniform sample space. If you want to write that definition, probably good for your notes, in a, universal, in a uniform sample space, all outcomes are equally likely. That's a good way to put it. They all have the same probability of happening. All right. In a non-uniform sample space, different outcomes have different probabilities. So they're not all the same, right? So these two are gonna end up being that. So like if you look at this one here, let me switch back to a different color pen. Um, there are five cards in here. My probability of getting a star is only one favorable outcome out of five. Whereas my probability of getting a moon, there are four out of five. Those are not equally likely to happen. So we would call that a non-uniform sample space. Same thing here. In this one, my probability of getting a star is three out of five. And my probability of getting a moon is two out of five. So we would call that a non-uniform sample space as well. Y'all, that's the difference between a uniform and a non-uniform sample space. It's all about whether or not the probabilities involved are equally likely to happen or whether they are not. I hope this makes tons of sense to you and you feel super confident to come into class tomorrow and finish this lesson up. If not, please do me a favor, watch this video again. I want you to come to class tomorrow feeling confident and ready to go and usually just watching a video a second time. Once you know what's happening, usually does the trick. All right, y'all. That's it. See you tomorrow.